My name is Courtney Peterson, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Nutrition Sciences. I got my PhD in physics, and along the way I did a master's degree in science journalism, but then I got to the end of my physics PhD, and I realized a lot of the work I was doing wasn't going to directly help people. And I eventually stumbled on nutrition and metabolism, which I'd always kind of been interested in, but never really pursued, because I never thought about pursuing a research career didn't really know that was an option. So I ended up switching fields after I finished my PhD in physics into nutrition and metabolism. And I love it because I get to do research, so I love finding new things or making a large marginal impact with my work. And I like that I'm still in science, but at the same time, because I'm looking at questions relating to public health, I know the research that I can do down the line, maybe not immediately, but at least decades down the road, is going to hopefully help a lot of people. I study how the time of day that you eat affects your health. And in particular, I'm interested in understanding how when you eat affects your risk of diabetes and obesity. And it's really quite interesting because what we know is your body has an internal circadian or biological clock. And this clock makes you better at doing certain things at different times of the day. So for example, your best sports performance and your greatest muscular strength are in the afternoon. The best time to sleep is actually in the evening when your body starts to produce a lot of the sleep-inducing hormone melatonin. Conversely, your fastest digestion time and your best blood sugar control are actually in the morning. And it's quite a big difference. So we know your blood sugar control is substantially better in the morning than the evening. And despite the fact we've known this for a long time, we haven't really studied what happens when you eat in alignment with your circadian clock. So what my group here at UAB is doing is trying to understand what happens when you actually try to eat in alignment with your biological rhythms. So I have two pilot studies that we're wrapping up in people where we take them and we have them eat all their food early in the day. What we're trying to see is if by eating in alignment with their circadian rhythms, whether we can improve their blood sugar control and also lower their risk of developing cardiovascular disease. Now the interesting thing is by actually eating early in the day, you're not only eating in alignment with your biological clock, but you also are having a longer fasting period between dinner one day and breakfast the next. So my lab is trying to understand these, how these two different factors, the circadian clock and intermittent fasting, can be used as a potential approach to help people lose weight and improve their blood sugar control. The research I do involves having people in the community come in, and the really neat thing about participating in clinical trials is oftentimes people who participate, they get some benefit from being in the study itself, in addition to helping us figure out what's best for, for people in general. So UAB has a ton of clinical trials on everything from MS to cancer here, so it's a great opportunity to get involved. It's a challenging but very rewarding field because you know that at the end of the day, whatever answer you find is gonna help indicate to someone whether they should or shouldn't do a particular health behavior. The people here are so great. Everyone's really collaborative. It's a really open environment, and I think the administrative staff here is really wonderful. One of the things I really like and appreciate about being here is there's a lot of flexibility in what I can do, and people are very competent and very helpful and very collaborative, so it's just this feeling of community that's, I think, really unique to UAB.